They'll be calling you a radical. Mayday, 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 comrades. Mayday, comrades, as we parade our military hardware all day, every day. We parade our military hardware here in the Soviet United States of fascism. Balco, on Balco. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Where's the military? Where are we going to parade our military hardware this week? Is it every day? Oh, let's do it in Baltimore. That's Paul Revere, his day in Boston. Look it up. Look it up when they declared Martian Wall. Oh, yeah, that was on Paul Revere Day. Yay, mayday, mayday. Sound familiar? Let's see. Oh, okay. The, this boogeyman's going to get you. This boogeyman's going to get you. So you need to get by gold bars, silver, bullets, guns, because they're going to put you a FEMA camp when you already put yourself in a FEMA camp and you're paying a mortgage because you're afraid of your own shadow. Fear, fear, fear. Sound familiar? That's exactly what they did in the Soviet Union. To a T. We are they, they are they. Black is white, up is down. Here you go, fascism. You did it to yourself. Ooh, boogie. You have nothing to fear but fear itself. The economy of fear, you fell for it. Boo, motherfuckers. I want to talk about this on Mayday, Mayday, Mayday on what I've named our army. You know, my movement's called Post Ignorance, and I named it right. Oh boy, did I name it right. But our small, teeny army, I'm going to call us the Mosaics. And why am I going to call us the Mosaics? Because I want to tell you this story, why we're going to call it this. I had this big, beautiful, incredible house, won all kinds of awards. Red, green, white, this magnificent masterpiece with my hawk and trowel. I was a plastic, even when I was on Wall Street, I never took that hawk and trowel out of my hand. I was a craftsman. Oh, Paul Rivera, craftsman. Oh, Jesus Christ, a craftsman. All great revolutionaries were craftsmen because first they came for the craftsmen. For I was not, well, I was a craftsman. I won't stop there. Then they come, it's always the craftsman. Jesus Christ was a craftsman. Jesus Christ was a revolutionary. Jesus Christ was a radical. Jesus Christ, heal the inflicted, feed the poor. Angry, throw the freaking money changers out of the temple. He didn't like buy here, pay here. He didn't like response. And you young Mexicans, we need you. You watch these hairsprayed maniacs over the last hour exploit your mom and dad. You watch them exploit, force them to clean their freaking beds, change their bed sheets, freaking build their houses, freaking, you know. I had that hawk trial in my hand for decades. They stripped it out of me. And I mean, 10,000 frescoes I have around this. Go in the tree house at the kids museum, that giant tree your kids love in it. It's the greatest thing we've ever done in this town. That's my work. That's laughing plaster. I carved it all out. The Brownie Center, see it. That's my work. All of them, they took my, the hawk and trial out of my hand. First, they come for the craftsman, for I was a craftsman, like Jesus, like Paul Revere, like Sam Adams. We're all broken now. We're broken pieces of glass. I had this big, incredible, beautiful masterpiece house. I mean a masterpiece. Giant mosaics in it. Giant. This took me literally years to build. Lath and plaster, curved walls, arches. I'll, I'll put up a picture on my Facebook page so you can see what it is. These Mormons, a guy named Bailey and these Mormon rats came in. They stole it illegally from me. It's a long, complicated story. Some Mormon judges here, they they played a dirty trick. A guy named Stan Scam Graham and a bunch of people, and I'm going to bury these people before, and I'll tell you why I'm going to bury A guy named Gibson who tore out the Mormon things. These things, they're Mormons, they're politicians. Mike Lee was involved. I can really get into this. They did this to me. They did this to me. For real. And I could tell you how I'm going to get them back because the pen is mightier than the sword. And oh yeah, my, this is literature. I want people to understand. It says publish on these things for a reason. Publish. These have value. These have copyright. This is literature. Publish. Publish. Look up the law. Elizabeth Warren. She's great, by the way. So, they took it. They panty painted it into oblivion. You should see it now. They stole it from me. That's what they do. So we're all broken. So I asked him one day, what'd you do with those three big giant, I mean giant, Mosaics that took me forever to build. He looks at me and he says, what's a mosaic? <laughs> there you have it. So that's what we are. We're all broken. We're pieces of glass. And I want all you people to understand around the world, my small army, our small army. We don't stomp our feet and get mad, but we do. But we're not that. We have answers. Bring back the Tariff Act of 1789. Real simple. We have a different kind of love. We don't like royals. We're not going to freaking be that kind of love. We're a different kind of love. We're the kind of love that Alexander Hamilton, that George Washington, that our early forefathers were that fought against the world. 
Tariff Act of 1789, which Adams, Jefferson, Hamilton, Washington, they all agreed on. Bring it back. We're not about to freaking compete with 37 cents an hour. We don't wear your Bangladesh shirtwaist fire 2.0, 3.0. We don't play that kind of love. We love our brothers and sisters all around the world. We want to heal the freaking afflicted. We want to enlighten and empower the smash down. We are all broken pieces of mosaic, so we're going to build a our, all our broken little lives. We're going to make it. We're going to make the most beautiful, magnificent mosaic in human history. We're going to slowly put together and we're going to build this. We're going to build this giant mosaic out of all us little broken pieces of glass. All us broken, Frank. And we're, you know, we're a different kind of love. We're the kind of love then. We don't believe in it. We don't want to be in your club. We don't want to be an NFL player running down the field with hair extensions from executed Chinese slaves. And where are all you professional athletes? You fuckers make me sick. Why do you not stand up and represent your very own people? Oh, because they let you in the fucking club? Oh, NFL draft. Damian Lillard speaking here today. I'm going to talk to Damian, by the way. Damian was in my class, by the way. I got leukemia right at the first, right as he was going to be in my class. And so I got to meet him, whatever, but he didn't actually get to be in my class because I was in the bone marrow transplant fighting for my life. He's speaking here. Come on, Damien. You know, different kind of love. What, they let you in the club? I know you're a better person than that. Where are all you African-American athletes that are all over? You're making 10 million a year. They let you in the club? Where are you not? They prayed the military. They repress your own people. The greatest Uncle Tom in human history, bar none in history war quarters, Barack Obama. The greatest Uncle Tom in human history. Not to be confused with the greatest rat that ever walked, Bill Uranium Mine, Walmart Clinton. Thank you to the journalist in the New York Times is doing this great work exposing the uranium mine deal. And Hillary Westinghouse Clinton, I named her, I already know what got erased on her freaking mails. I've known this for a long time. I've been ranting for years about her. You know, she goes back to the House of Windsor. Then this has nothing to do. It's like they caught the energy to world order. <laughs> they were all paid to do that. Get your gun paid to do that. Get your silver bars. Get that. And I want to talk about this. You know, Bill Walmart Clinton, Bill Uranium Mine. Hillary Westinghouse, Clinton, they all go to Westinghouse. It all goes traces right to the uranium mines, to nuclearism. Fukushima is the metaphor for the capitulation to the reality of it. It's not even a metaphor. It's the reality of everything. The repression gone amok as they eat their own. The control freaks out of control. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Where are they going to pray their military hardware this week? Coming to a town, you said, Who? I'm going to get my gun and fat back. I'm going to get my gold bar silver. They did the same thing there. Who? They're going to put us in a FEMA camp. You already put yourself in a FEMA camp because we have nothing but fear but fear itself. America, home of the cowards. We have a different kind of love. We're not cowards. We're in the street. We're educated. We know what we're doing. We don't pack a gun. We fight like Jesus fought with what God gave us, our soul and our enlightenment. And to the young Mexican, why are you allowing these fuckers to exploit your parents? You know, you grew up here. You're born and raised in America. You are America. I'm a baker. What's a cake? I'm a fisherman. What's a boat? I'm a carpenter. What's a hammer? I'm an American. What's revolution? I'm an anti-climate changer. I'm an anti-globalist. What's a tariff? Oh, I'm an anti-poison the earth. What's Fukushima? <laughs> We got a different kind of love. We don't want to be in your royal club. We want to live happy lives because we're mamas, we're daddies, we're grandpas, we're grandmas, and we love our grandchildren. We love our children. We don't want to be rich in your freaking love. We want to be rich in symphony with the earth because that's rich. Wealth has nothing to do with your money, your fake overcompensation. No, we got a different kind of love. And I want everybody to remember this. The American Revolution was started by a very small handful of guys. Craftsmen. Sam Adams. Paul Revere. Really, it was really started by three or four men. The French Revolution. And, you know, and the American Revolution is very different than the French Revolution, but Marie Antoinette, I'm going to Austria for a very important reason. You know, I'm going to be just like Beethoven. You know, he was a radical. He was crazy. He was fearless. He was in the streets of Vienna. And he's there. And there's the royal family. My bloodline's trace right there. My, the royal family there that 1914 in your head that ran the world. He, way back then, here's the royal family. Here they come marching along. All his friends, all the panty painters, the Dannys, moved to the side. Not him. He walks right through the fucking center of them. They're like, oh my God, they'll have you hung, they'll have you killed. Are you crazy? You've got to step aside. No, they should fucking step aside for me. 
That's what Jesus Christ was. You think about Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you young master. Think about Pope Francis. I mean, that fraud. But look at the name he picked. Look up Francis. Anti-usury. Buy here, pay here. This hairspray masquerade port in the Mormon church. Joe Osteen, freaking Rick Warner, these slob pigs. That's the first people we attack. We go after them with our mind social. We out these fucking devils that took money to fucking mass murder our brothers and sisters in the Middle East. They fucking never did anything to you. We're a different kind of love. We fucking love our brothers and sisters. We want to be communal with everybody of the fucking world, but we fight fucking intensely. We and we have answers. We don't stomp our feet in the streets. Oh, I'm mad. I'm fucking angry like a little kid. Then they put the camera in your face. Uh, bleh, bleh. No, because we're post-ignorance. We have answers. We want fucking usury laws back, maximum insurance interest rate, 6%. We have... We want the tariffs fucking put back at the fucking point. You want to use exploited fucking Chinese fucking goods? And this to Tesla, and I want to say this. Tesla's coming out with this apparatus today. It's a it's a battery that you can put a solar panel and just sit. We already have that. The end of it. It exists. We need to start going there. You know, this complex, we don't use any nuclear energy. It's a scam. We don't use any of this. It's a scam. Technology race crash. And I want people to understand, I'm still pro-Tesla as far as what they're doing. And I think, but... For right now, temporarily, as you know, I've been pro stock market stand. I've made a lot of people a lot of money. I do accept tips, but something happened to that place. I got leukemia, you know, and that took all my money. But I'm glad I did ink up and I paid every dime that I had. It broke me to the penny, but that's okay. I don't care about that. I'm fine. I just, you know, I, I'm a different kind of love. Get out of the market right now. Temporarily is all I'm saying. Sell your gold. Sell your silver. I mean, my God, that's an... Those things are so inflated, ridiculous, De Beers, your freaking diamonds, freaking they're not precious. Wow, you've been had, you've been scammed. Sell them, sell it all right now. I mean, go over your balance sheet and look, where are my money going? Sell your car, take public transportation. I know there's plenty of people, you live in areas like me, where there is no public transportation. But, you know, do what you gotta do. Get yourself clean where you can get happy. Love your children, you old freaking oligarchs that have moved to California and ruined the freaking landscape. Go home and raise your grandkids like normal people have done for millions of years. We're a different kind of love. We have answers because we are the mosaics. We're gonna make a giant mosaic out of all of us little pieces of broken glass. That's who we are and that's what we're gonna do. And we only need a small few and that's all we need. Because the masses will never be our friends. The fainting goats, the fear fracking complex. Because we are the home of the brave and land of the free. Even though you're not, because you're not brave. You're a coward. Johnny, get your gun. <laughs> get your go bar, get your silver hunker down. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Where are they going to parade their military hardware this week? Baltimore. Stay in tuned.